Hello everybody, I am Betawolf, and welcome back to another episode of Bloodborne. We're going to catch up with Giamman again after he disappeared last time, just like I said at the end of last episode, while also we will spend a few Blood Echoes, maybe gathering up some more Silver Bullets, because we've not had some of those for a long time, and I'm missing parrying people, so that's what we'll expect to do right from the get-go. The moon is close. It will be a long hunt tonight. If the beasts loom large and threaten to crush your spirits, seek a holy chalice, as every hunter before you has. A holy chalice will reveal the tomb of the gods, where hunters partake in communion. Right. Hmm. Interesting. So... It's going to be a long hunt tonight, and apparently has something to do with the moon, because it's growing close. Amazing style, art style. But I'm not too sure what it means quite yet. And he also tells us to seek a holy chalice, should the beast become too difficult. Which brings me back to these. Makeshift altars. First ritual altar. Second ritual altar. Seek a holy, a holy chalice is required to conduct a ritual. So maybe if we get a holy chalice, we can use it in conjunction with these to maybe uh, buff ourselves, make ourselves more powerful, or something along those lines to make it a bit easier. Still not too sure, but that's just what I'm taking from his dialogue so far. As well as going to the chalice... Did he say chalice? Chalice dungeon? Something like that. The Tomb of Gods, where hunters take part in communion. So maybe we can uh, meet up with some other hunters there, do some jolly cooperation or PvP, something along those lines. That's what goes on there. Not too sure. Maybe. Most of the holy chalices lie deep within the tomb of the gods. And the few that found their way to the surface were lost again in the hands of men. But if the old hunter tales remain true. One of the holy chalices is worshipped in the valley hamlet. Yet the town is in disarray. It was burned and abandoned for fear of the scourge. Home now only to beasts. The perfect place for a hunter, wouldn't you say? That description sounds very much like what the gentleman was um, telling us about Old Yarnum. Except this guy seems to be pushing us towards it to go back. I, I could be wrong, he did call it a different name. Something Hamlet. Uh, but it certainly sounds like Old Yarnum. The description that he was saying, everyone abandoned it. Great place for hunters. It was burned. Because of the scourge and abandoned, you know. So there's a lot of parallels being drawn there. Interesting. He could be talking about that for sure. And apparently it seems that one of the chalices is in there. As well as a few others on the surface, but most are in the Tomb of the Gods. Okay. Got anything else to say, Gaelman? One of the holy chalices. A town. Yeah, he's giving us the same dialogue. Yeah, that could be exactly what it is, what we're looking for. I think it's time to buy some silver bullets, to be honest. Let's buy ten of those. Two blood vials to keep us rolling. Uh, I think we're good on everything else, I'd say. Uh, you know what, let's sell some items. Let's sell our old armor set. We've had a great time with it, it looked cool, I don't know whether we'll need it in the future, but everything that we've got equipped so far is much better, so I'm probably going to just trade them away like that, no need for it anymore. And, uh, oh, that one deals more fire damage, does it? We might as well equip that one, which deals more damage and has got higher durability and better scaling, it's got a B, it's got a B scaling, I think. Um, and sell the other one, we might as well, right? Attribute bonus. I don't know what the star does. 
Oh, the start is arcane. Okay, arcane damage. Yeah, it's got a B scale in arcane damage. This um, hunter's torch. So we'll get rid of the other one. And while we're here, we never read the description on the wooden shield, so we'll go for that. A crude wooden shield used by masses who have arisen to join the hunt. Okay, yeah, we have seen some of the guys wandering around with those at the side. Hunters do not normally employ shields. Ineffective, uh, um, ineffectual against the strength of the beasts as they tend to be. Okay, shields are nice, but not if they endanger passivity. Engender passivity. Okay. Shields are nice, but not if they engender passivity. I can't say I know what that means. Maybe uh, they're nice to have at your side, I guess, but not if they're Hindia rather than a beneficial. I'm not sure. Hmm. Let's see how that works, actually. We'll equip it and see what it looks like. Okay, we can block with it like that. That's still used to switch. That's attack still. So, is there no parry option? There's no parry option for the shield. We can only block with it like that. Uh, to ward off against the enemies. And that's it. Block and then no parry. Okay. That I know of anyway, I can't tell. So we'll just might as well keep the Hunter's Torch active for now. Why not? Better than the regular torch. So we'll sell that item on as well. No use to keep hold of the garbage. We'll hold to the shield right now, though. No need to get rid of that just yet, I don't think. Uh, blood vials. No need to get rid of any of this stuff because it can all be useful for us. Okay. I think we're in a decent enough position there. We'll talk to our friend and level up. Ah, welcome home. I'm what? Yep, you drifted Very off again. Well, You're sleeping. Um. What to go for? Skill, maybe? Improves physical defense drastically as well, wow. Uh, blood Singe. Arcane. Ooh, that also increases discovery of items. So that's like our luck mechanic, I'm pretty sure I've said that before. Excellent. So as well as boosting arcane attack and allowing you to, do, to use probably more advanced arcane weapons, it also increases discovery. Okay, Blood Singe. Awesome. I might stick with my go-to stats for now, you know, put one put one more on each of those. Maybe go for HP this time, considering I ignored it previously. One more on endurance. I'll I'll keep with that. I'm happy enough. Thank you. Farewell, good hunter. Thank you. you. We'll talk to our friends again. And we'll acquire some items. We'll buy how many? We can only buy one of those. Okay, we'll do that. We'll buy a silver bullet as well. Thank you. Okay, so we've put ourselves in a little better position there. Restocked. Some gear. And also ready to go out back into the world with a new and fortified weapon. Tomb of Erden. Cathedral Ward. Old Yarnum. God, we're actually discovering quite a few more places now as well. We'll go back to Old Yarnum. Yeah, discovering more of the world bit by bit. And I've got to say... I am loving my time with this game so far. It's excellent. I really, I don't really know if I can follow it. If I can follow it just yet, I mean, that'll remain to be seen later on. Like when I've beat the game, I'll have to think, have a think about that to think exactly how I feel about the whole thing. A bit of a summary on how I feel. But right now, it's, seriously, I'm struggling faulting it. Maybe one, one little thing that I would like is more, like armor and weapons, more gear strewn about the floor but strewn about the floor is that a word strewn strewn i'm pretty sure it is it means thrown all over the place right um so yeah i would like that but i guess that's not really a negative towards the game it's just a de design choice isn't it so that is what it is excellent let's see if this guy's respawned our little lizard pal although he's not even a lizard he's a mutation uh, no, he's not, so that doesn't really matter anyway. Now, I think I will kill this guy first. And then... Hmm, where to go? I don't think I could go down that area anymore, could I? Hmm. Hmm. Having a good look at the world. 
think I'm going to run back to where I was. Hopefully. In fact, let's go to the front because I don't think we've dropped down this way yet. It could be risking death, but who cares? Ooh, I think we found a little bit of a secret passage here. Okay, so these guys have followed us. That's not great. And the guy can still put guns on us from there. Got you. <laughs> Never jump into me like that. Thought we might have got that guy there, but I think it was a little bit premature. Got a really nice look at his face there. They are definitely turning. Probably good to try and be a little, be a little bit more conservative with my um, silver bullets because I'm using quite a few of them. Probably shouldn't start killing enemies from afar with them. We should use them for parries only, I think. Okay, so we could actually have walked up here last time, but we just chose not to for some reason. And this is the way that these path, this path leads us down from, which is just the regular route you can go. Okay, so it's a bit of a different approach to the area. A bit of variation in the way that you can approach tackling it. That's good to know. Okay, let's work our way forward. I would like a little bit more, um, some more blood vials, if I'm honest. Try and kill off a couple of these enemies to try and take care of that problem. Nope, nothing dropped. But not too much of a big deal if we stay uh, smart, which that was not. Managed to earn it back nicely though. Yeah, I'll pop one there to tide us over. Bring us back up to full because we're still in the positive. We managed to get one. Can we hit him from there with the pebble? Doesn't look like it. Might have just landed at his feet. We'll make a run for it again and trap him on the bridge. Okay. Try and cleave all both of them at the same time. Is this third one interested? I think he might be. I'm not sure. Hopefully this guy's not respawned. Okay, no, that's good. I thought that might have been the case. We'll be wary about the guns from coming from behind. Okay, a bit of a notification there. A bit from a friend. Can he still get us over here? Yep. Yeah. Okay, we're safe in this place. I think I've done well analysing the environment so far as well. As I've progressed through the area... Oh! Sh as I've progressed through the area, there's not really been too many... Um, traps like that, like head enemies positioned in a trap type manner that have caught us off guard. So I think I've done pretty well with that on this playthrough so far. I want this guy to take interest. Pebble. <laughs> oh my, come on. That. Okay, this is horse hockey now. That gun has got some dip on it. Jeez. Grease the hinges on that thing. Okay, that's bullshit. That's actually bullshit. I don't care what you say about a game being fair, which it is most of the time, but that is, look at that angle. No way should that gun be able to hit you from there. At least it gives you a break, it's not full on. I shouldn't complain too much, I suppose. That should not be able to get you from there. And he can. Maybe you've just got to keep moving and only use the bigger parts as uh, places where you can take cover. See, I want to slowly explore the area, which I'm not allowed to do at the minute. Which is fine, it's good that the game makes you rush sometimes, but I do like to explore so I don't miss anything. I like to have a good look around. Like, I've just noticed that ladder now. I don't know whether we could have got there before. I don't know whether that's the same building. I don't think it is. No, it's on the other side over there. Um, So I could go the ladder, I could go down that route over there. Or, I could make that jump, which I'm scared about doing, considering bullets are coming my way. 
We're definitely not making it up that ladder. Oh! <laughs> Good job, we didn't go that way. Can we fall? <laughs> That's class. That's excellent. I do love that. Which way to go? I wonder, I wonder. This guy still isn't interested, is he? Come on, you dingus. Oh, you're a pleb. You're a real pleb. Careful. Looks like we can't go this way anyway. We can only get some... Uh, souls from it. Some... Not souls, god damn it. Uh, blood echoes from it. Some loot. I want to try them ladders, but let's do it, let's do it. I was going to say I can't, but climb fast, climb fast, climb fast. We can just outpace it. We can just outpace it. Except when we're at the top. Okay. Okay, so it does loop round back to the other area. That's it. You can go down there, go around, pick up some of the loot, kill off some of the enemies. Excellent, got it, that's what that area is for, but you can also just drop down like that, right from here, and ignore all that area. Understood. Okay, I got it. I see how it is. That's good to know. I don't know where the hell this guy came from, but one hit would have killed me. <laughs> one hit would have sent me to my death. And we also examined up there, that is also another route round from the top of this area. Up there. Okay, excellent, got it. So, I'm just thinking what to do now. Uh, we, we've got no healing. One hit away from death, probably. So it's nice to know that you can skip out all that area and just work your way through this way. And jump down there, and then you're exactly where we were previously while fighting the other guy. So we can cut out all of that if we want to. Interesting. So I'm thinking, I'm probably going to go down there, or... I want to take a look. No, we're going to have to jump from below if we're to go in that direction, so... We'll make a gun, gun for it. We'll make a beal. I should think you still have dreams. Well, the next time you dream, give some thought. <laughs> okay, I was going to say we'll make a beeline for that direction, but... Looks like fall damage is a little... more significant in this game, because... that would have not even... that would have barely scratched the character from the previous game, so that's good to know, that's become a little bit more severe. That wouldn't have even touched the character from Demon Souls, Dark Souls or Dark Souls 2. Well I guess that's good to get it out of our system at a point where it's easy to get back to, because that would have been really annoying to find out in a more difficult situation. Okay. <laughs> Be right. So they've got to, I've got two paths in mind which I want to go. The one right down where I was going ahead, or the place where you can jump alongside the bottom of the building to the right. Hmm. I'll probably just go the regular way. Not partaking in any kind of platforming just yet. And again, it seems fairly standard. Flank in that direction and then dodge. Yeah, I like how we can do that while running as well. Um, yep, yeah, let's work our way down here. This will be the quickest route. That guy's got our stuff. Die. <laughs> we killed him. We killed him off, guys. Now, let's see how much damage we take. Oh, just... It was pretty much the amount that it took to kill us. If we had a tiny bit more HP, we'd have survived the drop. Okay, this is the direction which I wanted to explore. I see the ladder, by the way. In fact, I'm tempted to go up there. Okay. Let's view this note. Beware of high spot. Okay, I will. Ah, yes, I see. Nice little heads up there. Might have seen him anyway, but it's good to know. He's going to jump down on us. So I think we'll approach from above. Take it a bit more strategic. Climb up here. And maybe this will take us round to him. Or maybe not. It looks like it's one of its own. I wonder if we could get onto that bridge. Not bridge, that roof. I reckon I could make that. But then again, where's it going to get us? Let's think before we do it. It's not actually going to take us anywhere. Meaning it's probably not a place you want to be. Because we'll fall off and die. 
Beware of strong foe. Is this going to be the Gatling gun guy again? Hmm. Ah, we can jump down there, so maybe we can confront the other guy. But I think I'm going to keep heading up for now. I thought I heard something. <laughs> Pardon for the silence, but I could have sworn I heard something. That's scary if it was actually in my house and not in the game, because there's no one else in the house with me at the minute. <laughs> Well, I will. Yeah, I've got my dog with me to protect me. He knows what he's doing. Oh. Hello there, good sir. Has he seen us? Something tells me that he has. Hey! He's ready. Okay, let's have a good look at him first. He looks a baller as hell. <laughs> okay. He looks so cool. He's got... A, is that a weapon? Is that like a sword in his right hand? Well, he's got... Some sort of crazy weaponry in his right hand and a gun in his left, I think. And at least he can't use his Gatling gun on us. He can't use that to his advantage anymore. So we're going to go up there with no heals. I'm tempted to go and parry him right off the bat. Hmm. We'll see. Okay, I thought I was going to fall then. <laughs> oh, shizer. I should think you still have dreams. Well, the next time you dream, give some thought. Yeah, that guy was pretty boss. He's gone dealt loads of damage, as did his sword. That was crazy. I could have sworn I hit him on the parry there, though. Darn it. Gonna have to go back and confront him. Hmm. I'm thinking I might try and push him off, but there's there's no kick. There's no kick in this game or pushback, which you can use to take control of the enemy. Hmm. I'm not sure. I might just try and beat him in regular combat, you know, jump around him, just try not to get hit, hit him a couple of times. The usual way to kill. I would like if it give you at least one... Uh, what do you call it? Blood vial. At least one blood vial to keep you uh, going on the respawn. But I guess what the game, in, game wants you to do there is farm, I guess. Farm to try and get them. But I think that's kind of a bit of a boring way. You don't really want to be farming too much for your heals because that's pretty much taking you back to demon souls. Although I never really needed to do that much, if I must say so myself. Didn't really need to farm all that much. In fact, not at all. Maybe a little bit on my first playthrough, but after that I was sweet. You know, didn't really have to farm for any kind of grass. Although I guess it's not necessarily farming, but it incentivizes going back through the areas and actually killing off the enemies instead of running past them all. So what it expects you to do is kill the enemies that you're confronted with to try and get back this, these healing items or run through and deal with not having any. That's interesting, I guess. I guess that's... I suppose that's an okay way of uh, putting the game together. But as I said, I would like if it at least gave you one. I think that'd be allowed, surely. It wouldn't make it too easy. Yet it also wouldn't make it uh, too frustrating without having any. I'm going to try and lower a couple more down. I don't know. We'll jump down and we'll see who follows us. Or we might proceed in the lower direction first and just try and see if we can get any blood vials then and then head back up to the other guy. Instead of fighting him like this. Yeah, we'll drop this way. Hear some of the moaning. I'm taking a look down there. That looks like the sewer place a little bit. Okay. Not got too much room to work with, but that should be okay. Yeah. Okay, takes care of that guy. Another blood vial. That's nice. Pick up a couple of those. Very good. 
We'll use one now to t keep us ticking. Hmm, this is a bit of a change of tone. The steel what? Like, well, not steel, but the steel mesh between the wood to act as gates. Interesting. As well as an incredibly bloody floor down there. That looks horrific. And some sort of... Is that a beast tied to the, the chandelier? Oh, this game. So crazy. Okay, there we go. Our classic and our Londo-esque segment. Slip and slide off platforms. <laughs> Fall into our death. Madman knowledge. Do we want to head in that direction? Can we get over there? Um, is there anything on the other side of that? I'm going to carry on. I'm going to take this nice and slowly. I don't want to fall. I don't think there's anything else on the other side of those. Nope. Always good to have a look around though. You don't want to miss out on anything. See, we see a guy there. See a roof there. Loop there. Okay, let's jump down. So we can jump there, engage that guy. Or we can continue walking this direction. What in the world was that? Was that all of those guys realizing that I'm there? Oh crap, yeah, there's loads of them running around. Are they fighting each other? Or are they clawing at the foundations because I'm up here? I'm just going to watch them for a second. I think they can sense me and that's what's going on. Molotov cocktail. Oh, that's good. That's good. Oh, crap. I missed the jump. Okay, I've got a bit of an idea. Let's go for some of that pungent cocktail. Lure the enemies to a position. Don't step forward anymore, you dingus. And then go like that. Burn. Yes, that is the best way. Light them all on fire. Excellent. That takes care of them, no problem. Still a couple left, but not a big deal. We can thin out. That's thinned out the herd nicely for us. So, are we supposed to continue and drop down there? Not sure. Nice little um, use for them here as well. You notice that they're all clawing, trying to get at you. And you can use your pungent odor and your molotovs to take care of them, thin them out. That's excellent considering that I don't think there was too many, there was a few, don't get me wrong. Too many uses for the alluring skulls in Dark Souls. But this seems like it's got much more opportunity to get the benefit out of those items than you normally would do in the previous games. So that's always nice to see, that's very good. Making every single playstyle vi viable. All the equipment too. Okay, that guy just got overwhelmed, apparently. He's dead. So it looks like we've got to drop. That's the only way we're going about this. I wonder how much of a uh, health punishment we're going to take. Not too bad. Most of them are severely damaged anyway, due to the fact that they've been burned up. Ooh, I thought we could have got that guy. Oh yeah, there's a big daddy over there as well. Okay. That's a nice little quick jumping attack with the R2. Wow, with this uh with the saw unfolded, very good. Nice to make use of all the moves that the game gives you. I can hear something. Okay, maybe it's just the guy in front. I thought we would have caught him there with that. Okay, so we've got the saw unfolded. Nice long reach. And let's jump attack. Excellent. Nice slash across. That does excellent damage on our part. Not great DPS, but as a standard hit, it's really nice. Also stuns the opponent too. Excellent. Good stuff. Making mincemeat of these. Just what I wanted. Blood vials, very nice. I realise there's another guy over there, we'll take care of him soon. 
Right, I'm not falling for anything. Is something gonna... Is that gonna awake and break free? If I pick up that loot, this is ceaseless discharge all over again in a different way. Nah, it's got to be dead. It looks like it's been ripped to bits. We'll fight this guy, though. There we go. I waited for it. I got it. Good night. Some more knowledge. I'm loving all this knowledge, I've got to say. It's awesome. I'm a knowledgeable guy. Oh, I thought there was going to be some more hidden loot around here. Um, okay, so we've not forgotten about that route. It looks like there's quite a few different ways that we could have approached the descent down from the top. Yeah, we see some more loot over there. Items that we can pick up. We know there's a dude over there. Hmm. Yeah, there's a lot we can do. Uh, let's just go for it. <laughs> in fact, I'm going to explore just beyond this point in case there's a checkpoint first. Just in case that ends up being the death of us. Have a bit of a mooch around. Nope, doesn't look like there's anything doing. Okay. Got another path there with some birds. Got a more open area down there leading to what looks like is going to be like a, a cave style uh, structure, like a dwarven ruin. Leading inside. Some loot over there. I don't know, there's so many different paths. Many different ways we can many different ways we can go. We can go that way too. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot. Um let's try it. Ritual blood. Okay. What do you have to say about it? May the good blood guide your way. Uh, let's see what that does. Let's take a bit of a noser. Okay, further along this way then. Ritual blood. Ah, so it's another... M another kind of shard. Another material, sorry, that's what the... That's what section it comes under in the inventory. Ritual blood. Material used in a holy chalice ritual. Looks like a pool of blood. Interesting. One of the basic ingredients used to satiate a holy chalice is this incodulable blood. Incodulable blood. Okay. When all the melt, when all the melted is blood. When all is melted in blood, all is reborn. Okay, I will eventually be able to read. <laughs> I'll read it again. Material used in the Holy Chalice ritual. One of the basic ingredients used to salute the Holy Chalice is this incon incudurable blood. I'm, I'm just going to forgive, like forget that word. Uh, with, when all is melted in blood, all is reborn. Okay. So that looks like the material that we are needing to access a holy chalice and take part in one of those things with maybe some other people just like Gelman said to us or maybe get the holy chalice that he was talking about to get more power to use with one of them stones in the hunter's dream could be who knows okay so I'm gonna end the episode here once again we are conflicting because we are have are presented with a couple of different paths as well as missing out a couple of paths back there with loot. We will come back for you eventually, I assure you, my beautiful bounty. So, hopefully you've enjoyed the episode. I thank you very much for watching. If you have, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Okay, one second. <laughs> Is that a guy hanging onto the building? I didn't see that. He was blending in very nicely. He looks like a bit of um, like scaffolding. Not necessarily scaffolding, but fabric blowing in the wind. At first glance, but it looks like a massive werewolf. We'll bear that in for next. We'll bear that in mind for next time. So yeah, as I was saying, like if you enjoyed the episode, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. This has been the masterpiece once again, Bloodborne. I will see you guys in the next one.